Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to my live stream. My name is Master Paul Fletcher. It is my deepest honor to be here with you today. Today is September 14, 2016. And today we are going to be continuing on live soul readings for the root cause of your health condition. Now, when I do these live streams, I never really know what the subject matter is going to be more than a week in advance. Sometimes I get guidance from heaven as to what is the most appropriate direction to place my focus upon. And sometimes I receive that guidance early in the morning when I wake up. And so today, that will be our focus. And so if there are new people, like uh, Monica, I know she has a friend who is visiting from Costa Rica, then that new friend can ask for the root cause of a health condition. So I will be focusing on new people today. Now this is um, a video that is being recorded. So for those that watch this in the future, if, uh, if a soul reading uh, for a health condition or healing for your health condition is something that you're interested in, then pl please just contact me. You can always message through Facebook and then uh, I'll be able to see you and go through the steps with you about how we can make that connection. <clears throat> and so many people are starting to come on so I want to acknowledge, I see Monica, thank you so much for those hearts, Monica. Welcome, Mary, good evening to you. Right where I'm at in Hawaii, it's afternoon, right around 2 o'clock. And welcome, Johnny, great to see you as well. Sometimes people come in and I can't see them, the Facebook doesn't show me that. So just before this started, um, I was, oh, very good, Christina's already asking her question. She's right on it. Good job, Christina. So just before this started, uh, I received an emergency call from someone who had found me through this Facebook live stream. And I haven't ever consulted with this person. And, um, but she was definitely going through some severe suffering and um, anxiety. And she was in the middle, literally, of an anxiety attack. This was just, you know, 10 minutes ago. And she, she let me know about it when I was in the middle of offering some blessings to a different student. So I told her to please be patient. I'll do my best to get to her as soon as I can. And um, I did send her a, a general blessing, but it wasn't helping. This condition was pretty heavy. And so uh, I said, okay, go ahead and call me. This is roughly 20 minutes ago. We spoke, and she was in such a state. Um, even though she had already taken a pharmaceutical, she, it wasn't helping. And so I employed what's called Divine Services, which I'll tell you a little bit more about today. It's one of the reasons why I do these live streams is to let you know there are some so solutions to some of those very hard to resolve conditions. And so I explained to her that the source of the anxiety, um, we could do a soul reading and try to find out the original cause of it, you know, the karma, if you will. But oftentimes that doesn't really solve the problem. It just gives us something more to worry about in some cases. So it wasn't really necessary for her to hear the source. What is known is that the anxiety has a root and a lot of it is associated with the heart center. And a lot of it of course has karmic implications. And so when uh, she agreed to receive a soul mind body healing Jin Don and transmission system. Now this was, again, in just like just a few minutes notice, that's how much suffering she was under. She didn't want explanation, she just wanted to change her suffering. So I said, okay. And I offered a divine order, which in essence is heaven opens the heavenly gates, um, heaven's generals and soldiers come, they remove the source of the blockages as appropriate. So any of the um, anxiety and the suffering, the source of that anxiety and suffering was scooped up and removed. I then immediately offered another divine order for what's called light wall protection. Now, for anybody new, this is like left field. I know that you have no comprehension of what I'm talking about. That's okay. It'll take time. You'll understand it with time. So I offered the light wall protection, which is very, very important. That means that any of the, any of the, the darkness, if you will, that is bringing this anxiety to her cannot return. Very important. And then I offered another order to where she had uh, new energy and matter to rebuild the areas that were under attack. And literally instantly she felt better. Now she had already taken a Xanax and it, it was not working. So my point is that 
uh, divine services have a tremendous impact and they can impact very quickly. I'm telling you this because actually I am equally surprised. I've done this many times and have seen pain go down to zero in, in you know, a very short period of time. Um, but to be able to offer it for a major emotional condition and have it create immediate results was truly very, I mean, I was bowing down on the ground behind me here to my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, because I, I was just so in awe of the power that has been transmitted to, through Master Shah to divine channels like myself that we can serve humanity in such an incredible way. I, I you know, I truly bow down to this, to this spiritual father for the ability to serve people in such an amazing way. So, um, just thought I would share that with you because for me, I'm still very moved by it, even just sitting here. So I want to acknowledge everybody that's come in. Uh, Kathy, thank you for your question. Um, Johnny, and we'll come back to you. I see all the new people, I will answer your questions. Francis Ann, great to see you, Francis Ann. Um, Pat JD, Sarah Lands, Stephanie is watching, Sharon Lackey, Yvonne, and we have Mary Ann Thornton. Um, and we have uh, Marie, Molly, Marie Folletar Smith, okay? And so, and then Mary Morris again. So today I will be focusing on people that are new. I will do my best to get to everybody. <clears throat> um, most of the veterans have had many soul readings. So I want to make sure that we spread the love. So I'm going to start for all those that are new uh, that may watch this later. A soul reading is a communication with the soul world. Dr. and Master Shah's teachings is that everyone and everything has a soul. And that means the soul of a thought, the soul of a possibility. That means your organs, your systems, your cells and cell units. They all have a spark of God in them. Therefore, they have a soul. And the souls carry forth messages. And so those messages, like a relationship soul, carries a message and gives us information about how we can heal uh, problems in a relationship. Um, same thing with diseases, etc. And so when I do a soul reading, I'm in essence connecting to the source of the, of the root cause. Um, same thing occurs when a healing blessing is offered. It's offered at the level of soul, which is where the root cause is carried from lifetime to lifetime to lifetime. You might have knee pain your whole life and not know why. Doctors can't figure it out. It's because the root blockage is sitting on the soul. Who knows whose knees had been hurt uh, in previous times, but that blockage is there. You release it at the soul level, the physical body transforms and adjusts to what happened at the soul world. Maybe PhD level for anybody new, but that's, that's really what happens with these soul healings. Okay, okay. so um, first, before I do any readings, very important always to connect to heaven, invite them in. Let's place our hands in what's called soul light, soul service hand position. This is, a, it's like a hand mudra. You know, most people are familiar with the prayer position. Very similar. We simply drop the left hand in front of our heart center and the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. And this allows heaven's energy to come through our right palm and then immediately into our heart center. So it's called the soul light, soul service hand position. So I will place my hands there and if you do too, then you'll have a higher propensity to connect. Dear Divine, Dear Tao, Dear Source, Dear my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, all layers of Divine Tao and Source, all committees in heaven, we love you, honor you, respect you, and I personally bow down to you. I ask for your presence here today to guide these soul readings, guide any blessings that are offered. Allow me to speak with truth and integrity. We are deeply honored. We ask all of our Heaven's teams, all the souls that come on the line, all that watch, to please guide these soul readings so that the information is the most accurate and valuable for those that I'm doing the readings for. We ask the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony to come at this time. And as I chant love, peace, and harmony, please bring harmonization to all those that come on the line, all those that watch us in the future, so that we can become one as a humanity. Thank you. And now I will chant, close your eyes and receive the blessing. Lu la lu la li lu la lu la la li Oh, I worship Merlin. 
Oh, I turn and lay on the hill road, her musher shang, song I ping on a shit, song I ping on a shit. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I see different notes flying up about I would like a reading. I haven't read them all, but please note that if it just says please give me a reading, you want to be definitive. I need a reading for the allergy conditions I've had for life. That's a great question. I can work with that. If you just ask for a general question, you'll get a general answer. The more specific your question to your health issue, the more specific the guidance, okay? All right. And so Christina Cote, what is the root cause of my health condition? That's a very difficult question, Christina. I don't know what your health condition is. Um, please rewrite, and I will do my best to serve you. <coughs> Kathy Campbell. Hi, Master Paul. So happy I found your post. Wanted to know what's the root cause for her allergies and asthma since childhood. Okay. Dear the soul of Kathy, Kathy Campbell, soul of Kathy's heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you, honor, respect you, bow down to you. Could you please offer... Kathy, the guidance at this time for the root cause for her allergies and asthma. Thank you. For our dear Kathy, your mother took a medication prior to your birth. This created a negative impact and a chemical imbalance that impacted your liver and your liver's ability to work with corralling foreign chemicals. It impacted your adrenal system negatively. For you, a new liver and a new adrenal system would create a cascade of results in which the processes by which your body handles foreign substances would be handled differently. When we say new, we are referring to the healing and transmission system. Of course, getting a new physical liver or adrenals would be quite difficult. More can be learned later on this. The root cause has been mentioned. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, heaven, for that answer. Okay. I'm scrolling down to see if um, uh, the question was rewritten. Not yet. Okay. So I want to, to answer your question, Christina. You came in there right away. But please rewrite it so I know what the root cause is. If it's private, then just message me privately, okay? But if you're willing to mention it, then go ahead and I'll scroll down and, and try to find you because I don't want to pass you up. You did come in early, okay? All right. Mary Morse. I also would like to know the root cause of my health, issue, health issues and pain issues. I'll do the best I can with this one, Mary. <clears throat> My beloved Mary, this is your soul. It is very difficult to hear the words you are about to receive, but nevertheless, it is true. Because of your open heart nature, you have caused a great deal of your own issues because of your inability to have your 
emotional responses, reactions, and love being met with a healthy and balanced environment. There is a consistency in your life where you have basically given up on being heard, being validated, and understood. And this stuffing of the emotions is the root cause for a great deal of their sufferings. They are stepping stones upon each other in many cases. There are solutions, but it starts with being honest with yourself. Many, including yourself, bring a facade so that they can be accepted. They can keep the status quo. This is taught to them in childhood as was your childhood. You were taught to keep the balance. You were a professional at it. And now you have carried that forth into your life at a great disservice to your health and your pain. If you keep this in mind as a centerpiece and work solely and specifically to honor yourself instead of putting others first so that you can be accepted, loved, and validated, you will discover a releasing of this series of issues. This is a beginning point. Of course, there are specific organs and systems that could and should be addressed as they, of course, have been physically impacted, but the root is what has been explained. I am your soul. I love you so very deeply. How? 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 So hopefully that assists you, Mary. Okay, so Francis, I'm going to go by you for a little bit because you're a veteran. Um, move to some people that are uh, newer at this, okay? Um, Sarah, yeah, again, you're asking a very general question. Please rewrite the question so it's a bit more specific, okay? I'll look for all those that I've asked to be more specific. Um, first, so that I don't pass you up. You did come in early. I want to honor you, um, but please be specific so I can serve you, okay? I'm looking through all of the ones. Okay, so now Sarah says, why do I suffer with food allergies? Okay, so now I can work with that. And I don't see a question yet from um, the first lady that came in. Oh, there she is, Christina. Okay, so Christina, I'll come to you right after I work with Sarah's food allergy question. I'm going to go back in order. To the soul of Sarah Lance, Sarah's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints. Could you please offer uh, guidance for Sarah as to the source of her um, food addiction? How? This is Yen Wan Ye, leader of the Akashic Records. I would not normally come for such a question, but it is important for others to know the source of this blockage. The source is message center of blockages. The source is a lack of honoring of self. It seems like a very simple answer, but look around at humanity. How many people suffer from such a condition? How many people have anxiety, depression, food addictions, etc.? What is the root cause? Boils back to where have we separated ourselves from our beloved divine? We do not love ourself. Divine loves all of you unconditionally. For our beloved Sarah, she has experienced a series of emotions 
as a result of trying to be loving, kind, uh, good in relationship, etc. And has met with, let us say, a lack of equality. As a result, there is a closing of the center. How does that cause someone to eat more? What happens is heaven is always connecting to us to guide us on our journey. This includes healthy choices, not turning right when we should be turning left, how to best communicate with that person, and so forth, so that we do not generate additional spiritual debt, so that we resolve the problems that occur in our life. When the message center closes because others have made harmful statements to us, because we do not know how to love ourselves, we do not know how to align our heart to our Creator, then we create a series of conditions where we fill the gap by numbing ourself. This example is through food, others is through alcohol, others is through pharmaceuticals or marijuana, etc. There are many ways in which we numb our separation from our beloved Creator. So this answer I have come to give for all that have a similar set of conditions. The root and the solution is clearing the blockages of the heart center, opening your heart to your love of self, starting with unconditional acceptance of the love of your Creator. This is Yen Wan Ye. I am honored to offer this wisdom. How? 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 Thank you, Yen Wan Ye. Thank you, Heaven. Okay. Okay, so now, Christina. My condition, so this is you, Christina. My condition, overload of infectious diseases, toxins in her body, stress, pain from neurology, and poisoning physical issues with serious pain in back. Okay. Dear the soul of Christina, Christina's heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints. The soul of all of these conditions, the source, the root cause, any additional wisdom given the highest and best solutions for Christina. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, oh. hey, uh, 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 for our dear Christina. The root cause of these conditions has multiple layers, the first of course being karmic conditions. What this did was this brought about in your life a series of events and circumstances, the first being at four years old, in which you put into your mouth bacteria from an animal in the yard. This bacteria, this bacterial strain, has stayed with you your whole life. It has created a parasitic environment in which there is a great deal of activity. This also created a breeding ground for viral activity to maintain a foothold. There is currently a high level of viral activity in your lower spinal column. It is related to, I'm told not to tell you the exact virus because it will create negativity, um, but in a big sense it doesn't matter since viruses, aren't, they don't have a solution in modern medicine. There's some solutions, but mo not modern medicine. So, But there's virus there. There is also blockages in the brain physically. These blockages are related to an ingestion of both mercury and heavy metals through multiple sources. For you, dear one, it is suggested that you become familiar with heavy metal 
and parasite detoxification protocols. It is suggested that you start by detoxifying your liver, which will give it a chance to deal with the toxins as they purge through your body. There is a great deal of rebirth of these kinds of things as they feed upon each other. And so you will need to be consistent even through the purification processes which sometimes do not feel good as you're purging out the old. There is a reasonable chance of success by increasing your diet to natural healthy foods, redu removing as much as possible through natural means the heavy metals and the mercury, utilizing parasite die-off methods, and uh, cleansing the toxins out your body through as many means as possible, including the possibility of foot baths and other sources. This combination will assist you greatly. It will take time, it will take persistence, but the combination should serve you well. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So now I go back to some of the people that I passed up. Um, Okay, so Sharon Lackey, uh, I'm new with you, Paul. I have atrial fibrillation for her heart, and it's been hurting lately. So what I'm getting, Sharon, is that it's actually ancestral on the father's side, and it has to do with um, some, some unpleasant financial dealings on the ancestral father's side, and it's come to you in the form of a karma. Um, you can, of course, deal with it with the modern medicines. It'll keep it under control. You may want to become more familiar with divine services, um, a, a new heart. Yeah, a new a new heart through the divine services should solve it. That's what I'm getting. So you, you can message me later if you need more information on that. Okay. Okay. So Marie uh, Folletier, blessings. Thank you. I'd love to know the root cause of her illness, high ammonia, etc. Okay. How for our beloved Marie. There are two areas in your physical body that have imbalances that is creating this condition. One is the imbalances on the stomach and the stomach meridian. The stomach meridian has been impacted by, um, I'm hearing a root canal. Um, so you may want to look at the charts of the, of the meridians, the, the stomach meridians. They run through here and see where you might have had a root canal done on one of them. It is causing an imbalance in the, chemi in the way your, your body is breaking down the, um, the foods. And then the other is where the, the pancreas and the duodenum connect. There's an enzyme um, function that isn't working correctly. I don't know if you have been given a diagnosis of diabetes or anything like that, but there's, um, there's a pancreatic condition that is impacting the way your body is processing and breaking down the foods. So those are the two root blockages that I'm hearing. How? Hopefully that serves you. I'll describe more divine services a little bit later so everyone kind of has an idea how they can serve. Okay, so uh, thank you, Mary, for that response. Uh, Monica? 
Um, okay. Great to see you, Sainio. Great to see you, Crystal. Angie Taylor, amazing. You're so blessed. Thank you so much. Happy to serve. Tatiana, wonderful to see you. Um, Suki, great to see you. Christina Darling's watching. Great. Anne Morgan. Um, Anna, I need to have uh, specifics. Hopefully you put in something more specific a little later on. I'm happy to serve you if I see something specific. Kathy Schneider, welcome. Thank you for coming. Lopez says, uh, hello, Paul. Wanted to see if you can do a reading for me, please. Again, uh, please offer a very specific question. I can do much better. Um, I'll keep looking for you guys uh, towards the bottom if I can get to you. <coughs> um, Chelsea, Sharon Lackey, uh, are already reading for the atrial fibrillation. She's had for three years now. Okay, so I just took care of that. Welcome, Patricia. Um, Patricia, I'm going to come back to you if I don't do readings, if I can take care of the new people first. Um, so Lopez is asking for a root cause of relationship issue. Um, so Lopez, I'm not doing relationship today. I'm working specifically with health concerns, okay? But I do relationships. I just did some last week, and I'm not trying to put you off, but I want to stay focused on the subject matter, okay? So please forgive me. Uh, and Anne Vascara, welcome. Welcome, Master Alan. Welcome, Sarah. Um, she asked about suffering with, with addictions. We took care of that. Welcome, Master Gina. And so Mary Morse, um, I believe. Mary, did I answer your question already? I don't think so. I would like to know the root problem for my lower body pain, legs, lower back, and bladder. Okay. Did I answer your question already, Mary? I'm not sure. No. Okay. Do the soul of Mary Morse, the soul of Mary's question, the highest soul of Mary's heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. Love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you. Please offer Mary the guidance for the root cause of these blockages. Thank you. How? For our beloved Mary. She is actually a very beautiful soul that goes out of her way to serve many. She suffers for a couple of reasons. One is the extra weight. One has to do with the blockages specifically in the lower jowl. There are three major energy centers first, second, and third, and the entire lower jowl. This area of the body carries a great deal of power, but it can also carry a great deal of spiritual debt. In your first soul house specifically, Mary, there is a great deal of personal and ancestral karma that is related to alcoholism. It may or may not have directly impacted you in this life but it lays heavy in this area. It creates a set of conditions in which you feel lethargic and heavy, in which you feel burdensome in just moving around. The blessings for the specific legs and hips, of course, would create great results, but more deeply is the root cause on the first and second soul houses. Additionally, should there be the opportunity, you should receive blessings for the lower jowl as a whole. The combination of these would create such a lightness, you would feel as though you were walking on water once again. The good news is that these blockages are releasable. There is no need to suffer. Please connect with this divine channel. He can serve you. This is your heaven's team. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to take a moment and, and do a little bit more explanation for everybody new that's coming in. So, um, you've heard me mention a couple of times divine services. Now, just before I came live, I had an emergency where someone was, was texting me and they had severe anxiety. Um, as a divine channel of Dr. Master Shah, received the incredible authority to offer what's called divine services. The short version is 
divine services offer a tremendous amount of light, which in essence creates the set of conditions where the darkness that's creating the problems can't stay. And that darkness leaves according to whatever is appropriate to this divine order and whatever divine decides. Then a second order comes in to bring what's called a light wall protection. That means that darkness that's causing the problems can't come back. The third order is given to bring, um, uh, uh, turn it on 24-7 so that it's working to rebuild any of the area that's been damaged. Now, a separate example, by the way, that created immediate results. This woman was in severe panic attack, severe anxiety attack, and she immediately went from 8 down to a 3 within just a few minutes. She had no idea what I offered. She was in Ohio. I'm here in Hawaii. It was done in 10 minutes, but she had a dramatic result. I take zero credit for it. I give all credit to my beloved spiritual father, Master Shah, and of course God, because God does it all. But a divine service can transform our blockages very quickly because it's working with things at the root level. So another example, this is, this is not so you can, um, uh, this is not, this is so that you have an understanding of heaven has brought messengers to earth that can serve humanity at these very difficult times. And it's about education. It's about understanding. I tell you this so you can become a little bit more open, a little bit more uh, aware that the solutions are there, that we don't have to suffer. So I give you these in peace meals so that you have the understanding. So uh, I mentioned this the other day, but uh, a couple weeks ago, one of the people that worked with my, my wife has had severe arm pain uh, five years, eight on a 10 scale, can't sleep at night, very, very difficult conditions. And um, I had no idea, you know, I, I seen her when I pick up my wife, but I had no idea she was that suffering. And so she came to the house. I did the soul, mind, body, healing and transmission system for this physical pain. The other one was for the condition of anxiety. Same thing, so remove the blockages, put in a light wall, start healing the area. And uh, within about 20 to 30 minutes, her um, eight went down to a zero and it has remained gone ever since. She's been sleeping, she is just happy as a clam. Same thing can happen for anyone with the leg pain, back pain, doesn't really matter. We make no promises. It's really not up to us, the divine channel, the results. It's up to God and it's up to you. Why do you think all of my live streams, I focus so much on forgiveness practice? Why do we chant love, peace and harmony? Why do all the teachings come through each one of my live streams? Because that's the root. The root of our suffering is where we've made or our ancestors have made choices that have brought suffering to others. And so we want to be responsible for that and take acknowledgement. Those that have the greatest results are the ones that are the most sincere in their apology. So I give you that piece of information so as we continue to go through this and I do soul readings, you know that there are solutions available to you. Okay? I'm happy to answer your questions separately. You can message me on Facebook. Above my video is, is my information on, uh, on um, how to contact me through my website, etc. <coughs> All right. <coughs> So now I'm going to work with Frances. She's been very patient. So Frances Ann Brown, neuromuscular skeletal issues since childhood, usually resulting from an accident. Please give guidance. And the last event left me with pain in my right thumb. Have gained much strength. Um, still have uh, issues with grip and holding calligraphy brush. Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, oh. hey, uh, Our beloved Francis Ann, you have done much to release your blockages because of your connection with your beloved spiritual father. There are still blockages in your heart center. There is still aspects of disconnection between your ability to serve the way you have been asked to. Although you see a tie in early life and these muscular neurological conditions and this one, they're actually separate as those have been addressed in previous blessings. This specific condition most recently is in relationship to exactly what has been posed to you. Your inability to realize that you are worthy, that you are more than enough to be the divine channel that you are capable of being that you have all the talents, skills, knowledge, and abilities necessary. Please open your heart more 
and realize that your spiritual father loves you unconditionally. When you do so, these types of little things will not occur. These come up to show you the blockages, for example, in not completing your calligraphy responsibilities. Serve more, serve with your full heart, and you will be recognized and given the proper authorities. You are loved. This is your heaven's team. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so Sylvia says, Aloha from Costa Rica, Master Pa. I'd like to know about my 13-year-old son's dental health and my period feminine health for me at this time since it has been delayed six months. Okay? So this is for Sylvia. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. To the soul of Sylvia, Sylvia's specific um, condition happening with her female cycle. The source of the blockages of this. Could you please reveal yourself? <laughs> For our beloved Sylvia, it is important that you receive an x-ray for your female area. There is a possibility of something growing in the area that in time could lead to an obstruction. This is an early message from your soul for your protection. How? For your son. The root cause of his consistent dental problems is a bacterial infection that is rooted in the molars the back molars so in between the back molars and the sinuses there's a there's a bacterial infection for him it would be of value to become familiar with the healing and transmission system for the teeth and the gums and the spleen and immune system. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so hopefully that serves you, Sylvia. Okay, so Lopez has re restated now her concern. <clears throat> Angela Lopez, I would like a reading for the pain in her abdominal area after head surgery. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. When this surgery was done, there was a reconnection of the tissues done in such a way that they were not able to normally expand and contract as they would have done in the untouched condition. It is a natural side effect of a surgery when aspects of scar tissue take place. A service to remove the blockage could 
immediately solve this problem. There is no need to suffer longer than that. An example would be if a new intestine was offered, the energy and matter of that new intestine would cause the area to rebuild, reform, and populate itself as normal, thereby the restrictions would dissolve. It is hard to explain physically when it is done on the soul level, but new energy and matter could fix the problem. How? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, heaven. Welcome, Adrian. Good to see you, my friend. Okay, so Kathy says, how do I find information on liver and adrenal system clearing? <coughs> uh, Google's my best friend, Kathy. Um, the, uh, you might want to look into the uh, healing and transmission systems they would serve you. There's also what's called, and this is n what I'm sharing with you now, right now, is not Dr. Master Shah information. Uh, that has to do with soul healing. Um, that deals with things at the level of origination. On the physical plane, things like the Holdecark liver flush is really good. And I don't really know much about healing for the adrenal system. I would just use the healing and transmission system myself. But I personally have used what's called the Holdecark liver cleanse, which is really awesome for cleaning out the liver. That's a, a personal favorite. So, Okay, Suzuki says, Beloved Master, I'd love a reading on fatigue. Okay, um, Suzuki, I'm going to keep moving till I talk with some newer people. Thank you for your understanding. Um, sending you blessings of love and light for your love and selfless service. Thank you so much, Kathy. Liz, wonderful to see you. Anne, great to see you. <coughs> um, okay, I, I read your message, Anne. Thank you. Mary Morse, she said yes. Uh, Sarah says thank you. Angie says, I'm not sure if you'll get time or if you'll catch my tap. My sister Kirsty and or son Bailey. Sister has suffered allergies to dairy, mainly after birth of last son Bailey and also tests show. No hormones. Okay. Let me see how many more questions we have here. I got to tell you guys, I'm, I'm beyond excited. We have uh, 50 people today, and I, I just I can't get to everybody, and I feel, I feel disappointed. Um, I guess that means I'm going to have to continue. Okay. So, um... Angie, this sister Kirsty or son Bailey, sister suffered allergies to dairy at her birth of last son Bailey. Actually, um, for your sister, it was a protection mechanism that your soul, that her soul put in place. Her soul literally turned on this no milk. Um, um, condition because it would hurt the son um, he came in with karma and there was a, a pre-knowing in heaven about the um, the shots that they would be giving him things like that and um, what has happened because she has not done the milk he has avoided a serious condition not autism, but something moving along that line, close to that spectrum, because um, there was chemicals and, and, and um, hormones and things that in combination with the, with the other triggers that are already present in the bloodstream of the, of the mother going to the child and of the child and of the future that heaven was seeing related to the um, toxicity he would get through the vaccines and whatnot, the, the other chemicals that the mother would bring in would would actually cause a negative impact and potentially um, cause the child to to have had a, an unpleasant um, life. So it's actually a, um, a a beautiful thing in this case. Yeah. Okay. So Ro, thank you for that comment. Uh, Hoy va verde. Wonderful. Hi. Great to see you, Kristen. Wonderful to see you, Sharon. She says thank you, uh, Sharon. And so Ruth Ann says, I'd love any insights as to my chest pains and nerve pains and my hands and feet also in my head. Okay. 
So I'm getting there's an impingement on your third and fourth vertebrae of your spine. Um, that there's like a, it could possibly be a virus there that's constantly, you know, irritating it. But it's, there's, there's some kind of impingement on your third and fourth vertebrae. Um, and curiously enough, you can... I'm hearing to experiment, if, if that's what it is, to use essential oils on that area. Just put an essential oil um, that is for causing muscle spasm to relax and see if things get better. That's what I'm hearing to test the accuracy of this. No idea if it'll work, that's just what I'm hearing. But for you, um, a soul operation and a healing and transmission system for the spinal column. I'm not hearing a spinal cord, just the spinal column. And the neck and shoulders would probably do you a lot. You'd, you'd probably be able to be over the majority of your suffering with those kinds of blessings, okay? Okay, so Sarah, I'm going to check in with other people because I have served you once already. I understand that these are important questions to you, but I do have to continue sharing the wealth, okay? So Wendy Lynn has asked, I'm having uncomfortable... Um, these are moving faster than I can slow them down. They won't let me go back. Shoot. Okay, I apologize, but I'm literally not able to go back as the questions come in. So if I just mention your name and I can't deal with you, I'm, I'm so sorry. Okay, rule says random pain in lower back, feeling like the spine is not perfectly aligned. It's actually blockages in the front part of your body, Raul. It has to do with um, um, there is uh, tightness in your in your lung area, in from here to here, in your upper jowl, and and it's creating a movement of the blockage in the back that's showing up back there because that's where your muscles are more weak. But the it's actually originating in the front. <clears throat> okay. Um, Kelsey, linear lump under the skin on my face and lump in lip right side. Hmm, curious. Let's see if we can get the answer on that. For Kelsey. Hey, uh, hey. Yeah, hey, uh, hey, oh. hey, uh, hey. You're going to have to message me uh, privately on that one, Kelsey. I don't want to mention what I'm hearing. Um, it might be construed as embarrassing. So please um, message me separately, okay? So Chrissy, uh, hello, Paul. Any insights into her uterine issues? Okay, this is for Chrissy. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. For our beloved Chrissy, these issues stem from ancestral karma on your mother's side. 
there are also several lifetimes in which you made a mistake that you would not make in this lifetime having to do with keeping a child. This karma has created this current suffering that you are experiencing. This should be addressed as it has impacted you in 16 previous lifetimes and will continue to impact you for another 27 if not addressed through higher services that can release these kinds of high-level blockages. You are deeply loved. This is your Heaven's Team. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> okay, so Kristen, I see your question, but um, I'm asking very specific to health issues. And so I'm going to have to move to Alyssa. She's struggling with late loss and having really sore dry eyes. Never had eye problems before, but they get painful and end up rubbing them and get small cuts. Okay, so this is for Alyssa. This will be the last one because I have to cut off before Facebook cuts me off. For Alyssa, this is actually an allergic reaction. It has to do with the inability to process salt in the amounts that they are entering your body. It would be a value for you to do a liver flush and a natural juice and vegetable cleanse to re bring about a rebalancing of your fluids and your chemical cleansing system, if you will. The combination of these two and the reduction of excess salts should bring about normalcy in this area. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. I am so happy to see so many people asking so many questions. I deeply apologize. I have not been able to get to everybody. Um, anybody is available for private readings. They're $60 for a half hour, $120 for an hour. Um, you can contact me through Facebook Messenger or through my, uh, my page, uh, asohealer.com. Asohealer at yahoo.com is my email address. I'm happy to serve you. If you'd like more information on divine services, at my website I've created several videos that do a very good explanation of what are divine services. The soul readings are designed to help you make those higher and better choices for your health and well-being. So I list whatever I can do to serve you. I can also uh, serve your loved ones, parents, children, pets, etc. It's my greatest honor to be with you today. This has been a very popular uh, day. Tomorrow I will return. I will offer the same uh, readings. Tomorrow I will also take care of the people who have been supporting me, the veterans. I've asked them to wait two days as I, as I take care of everybody new. But it's important to take care of all those people that have been taking care of me and bringing this visibility to the general public so I can serve you. I love you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. See you then. Bye-bye.